Hello everyone and welcome to my AEW Revolution 2022 predictions. All right. Let's get go. We got a lot here, man. I I was not expecting the card to be this big. Um and there's some stuff we got to talk about as well. But let, let, let's let's get into it. Uh we have uh, also, I should say, really excited. First pay-per-view for AEW of the year. We've had specials, obviously, with Battle of the Belts, uh, New Year's Smash, Beach Break. You know, we've had all those specials. Now we're getting, like, our first pay-per-view of the year. So this... We're going to cross our fingers that this goes very well. Uh, so we're going to start off with the matches on the buy-in. We have Chris Statlander versus Layla Hirsch. Uh, I'm gonna go with Layla Hirsch on this one mainly because of how Chris Statlander's been acting. Uh, she's supposed to be the face in this, but she's been very heel. Um, like w I think we all remember that promo where she told Chris Statlander, "Yeah, your parents, they had a reason for giving you up for adoption." It's like, wh what? You're the face. You shouldn't be saying stuff like that. I remember w like watching that, and I was like, "Oh my god." So I'm going to go with Layla Hirsch because I feel bad. You don't say that to anyone. Oh my god, Chris. Yeah, Layla Hirsch. And I wanted to break Chris Detlander's alien arm for that. Uh, and then we have Hook versus QT Marshall on the buy-in. Hook's winning. He's got to win. Let's go, Hook. Hook is the man. I have a Hook shirt. I am I was one of the people who bought the Hook shirt to get it the best-selling shirt of all time let's go hook this is the man i can't wait oh it's gonna be so good and then we move on to the actual card we have jade cargill defending the tbs championship against tay conti jade cargill i believe will win this is just to get her you know keep her rolling keep her going um her undefeated streak is gonna be something it's, it's it's really good because they can like they, they can work stuff around the fact that people just want to beat her undefeated streak of course they want the tbs title but they also want to beat that undefeated streak she's like what 28 and oh i think at the moment uh well at the paper she's gonna be 29 no uh because there's no way she's losing to take on team we have the ahfo of andrade el idolo matt hardy and isaiah cassidy versus Darby Allen, Sting, and the TNT champion, Sammy Guevara. Uh, this in a six man tornado tag. This will be good, but I do have a problem with this. On Rampage this week, because I'm recording this on Thursday, uh, they have announced that it will be Sammy versus Darby versus Andrade in a triple threat match for the TNT title. Why is that not the match on the pay-per-view and this six-man isn't just the match on Rampage? Because this six-man match feels like a TV match and then the triple threat feels like a pay-per-view match that would steal, that could be like a show stealing. So I, I don't understand why, because I would prefer the triple threat on the pay-per-view. I know I'm going to love the triple threat on Rampage when I watch it this, tomorrow, but I would have loved if it was the pay-per-view match because it would have made it the pay-per-view a lot more exciting. Even though the pay-per-view is already exciting, it would have made it even more so. Um, and it wouldn't have been as predictable if it was on a pay-per-view. You know what I mean? So on Rampage, it's pretty obvious Sammy Guevara is going to retain. But on a pay-per-view, you have a little bit of unpredictability because it's a pay-per-view. And you know how company, wrestling companies like to like shock you for pay-per-views. So there's a possibility Andrade could win with help from the AHFO. You know? But anyway, I digress. Uh, I picked Team Babyface of Darby, Sammy, and Sting to uh, win this six-man with most likely Isaiah Cassidy taking the pin. And then Matt Hardy is going to go broken. And then Jeff will come in and then we'll get the broken Hardys. And everything will be great. Everything will then be great. We then have Chris Jericho versus Eddie Kingston in a singles match. Originally, I was going to go Chris Jericho, but after the promo they did last week on Dynamite, I think Eddie Kingston is going to win this match. Because the whole thing is, you know, Eddie, you can't win the big one, Eddie. You'll never beat the big one. You're a failure. So Eddie Kingston has to win this. Um, and Jericho, being a great guy, put him over. Uh, and this will be good for Eddie Kingston. He gets a big win over a big star. 
Um, hopefully they'll t uh, knowing both of them, they should have a, a great match. So yeah, he'll get a great match, a big win over a big star, and where he goes from there, I got no idea. But hopefully he'll get to do some cool stuff. We then have Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, defending her AEW Women's Championship against Thunder Rosa. I am going with Britt Baker to retain. I do not think it is time to end her reign just yet. We are reaching the end, though. I do believe we are reaching the end of her run, but I don't think Revolution is the end of her run. Especially how on Dynamite yesterday she lost and took a pit. She's not. <laughs> Wrestling dictates if that happens, you are not losing at the pay per view. Um, so I'm picking Britt Baker to win. Also, I'm not a huge fan of Thunder Rosa, like some people. I like Thunder Rosa, but I'm not crazy about her. Um, and especially if its, pro if it's promo last week on Thunder Rosa was, to me, very true. <laughs> so I'm on team Dr. Britt Baker here on this one. Um, I believe she needs to get to double or nothing before she can lose it. She either loses it at double or nothing or after double or nothing she can then lose it because double or nothing will mark her like one year anniversary as champion so yeah that's what i believe uh then we have jurassic express defending the aew tag team titles against both red dragon and the young bucks in a triple threat match this is gonna be awesome this match is gonna rule aew's tag team division is just insane it's crazy how great the tag division is in AEW. And this match is going to show that even more with three great teams. Um, in the end, I think Jurassic Express will retain the belts. I think both Red Dragon and Young Bucks, they might at the beginning start to work together to take out Jurassic Express, take out the champs. But in the end, they're going to cancel each other out. They're going to get in each other's faces and Jurassic Express is going to take advantage and retain the tag titles. So I know it's going to be a great match. And Jurassic Express... I pick them to retain. Then, I uh, just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. We have John Moxley versus the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. Ooh, they got to bleed together. Uh, this match is going to rule. I'm so excited for this match. To me, this will be match of the night. Um, I am really excited for this match. Uh, that's a funny thing because they fought before in WWE, but you didn't really not to say care but you'd be like oh it's dean ambrose versus daniel bryan that'll be cool you know but now because these two are now in aew and they're allowed to be their true like the true version of themselves like john moxley has just been amazing ever since he's left away to be um and he's been allowed to like do what he wants and be the character he wants to be and we're all there for it same thing with brian daniels and he's now been allowed to be the true him again and we love it so seeing these two go out is going to be great. Who do I think will win? That's a real tough one. Because uh, it can go either way. It can really go either way. But I think for the story to progress to them being a tag team, Brian Danielson needs to beat John Moxley. To prove to John Moxley that, hey, I can beat you. We should be a team now. I think that's what's going to happen. I think that's what needs to happen. So I'm going to pick Brian Danielson to win this match, but it will not be easy. We then have the face of the revolution ladder match where the winner gets a TNT title shot. It is Keith Lee versus Orange Cassidy versus Powerhouse Hobbs versus Ricky Starks versus Wardlow versus either Christian Cage or Ethan Page. Um, I'm doing this now. I could wait till after Rampage, but let's all be honest. Christian or Ethan, doesn't matter who enters, they're not winning. Uh, I would say, though, I would prefer Christian Cage to win. I love both Ethan and Christian, but I'm more of a Christian guy than I am an Ethan Page guy. So I am hoping for Christian Cage to be inserted in this TNT title match. I mean, a uh, face of revolution ladder match. <clears throat> As to who wins, it's got to be Wardlow. It has to be Wardlow. He's going to win, beat Sammy, and become TNT champion. And then he will start his feud with MJF. And then the... The big feud we've been wanting for so long with Wardlow breaking from the pinnacle, breaking from M away from MJF, it's going to happen, and those two will feud for the TNT title. And I can't wait. That's going to be awesome. Wardlow has to win this. Come on, man. The only way Wardlow can't win this is if Sean Spears costs him. And if Wardlow doesn't win this, then I say Keith Lee as a second place. 
Uh, but Wardlow's the big guy. He's gotta go. I, it has to be Wardlow. Then we have the dog collar match of CM Punk versus MJF. This match is gonna be freaking blood. You wanna talk about blood? Mox and Danielson is gonna have some blood. These two are gonna just goosh everywhere. It's gushers. They're gonna gush. Um, now, as for what I said about Britt Baker Thunder Rosa, where I said Britt took the pin on Dynamite, so she's not losing at the pay per view. The same logic should apply here that Punk up Boston Open on Dynamite and beaten down by the Pinnacle, so he should not lose at the pay per view. However, I think he will because MJF needs to remain strong. He's. He, MJF is that special guy who rarely loses. So when he does lose, it means something. Just like it meant something when he lost to Chris Jericho at All Out last year. Right? Like, oh my god, MJF lost. He beat Punk on Dynamite twice. So there's the argument that Punk should get his win back. But I also believe Punk knows that you're also trying to build your next star. And to me, MJF is future world champ material easily. So building MJF beats CM Punk three times. That's how you build the man. So I'm picking MJF to beat CM Punk here. Um, wouldn't shock me if Punk won. But I believe MJF. The right call is to let him win. And keep just getting stronger. And then we have the main event of Hangman Page versus Adam Cole for the AEW World Title. I love both these guys. I was split for so long on who I want to win this. But in the end, I've come to realize that the Hangman's journey is not done yet. The Cowboys still got a lot to go. So I'm picking Hangman Page to win. Not be mad if Adam Cole won. Um, would be disappointed the Hangman's reign would have lost. If Adam Cole does win, that his Hangman's reign goes su super short. But... I'm picking Hangman because I think he's still got a lot left to go. And that is my predictions for AEW Revolution this Sunday. Why are they doing Sunday pay-per-views? Please go back to doing Saturday pay-per-views. But whatever, I'm really excited. Uh, let me know what you guys' predictions are in the comments down below and what match you're looking forward to the most. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you all next time.